Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, we're gonna be using um, Houdini and Blender and mix them together uh, to create this kind of uh, design. Basically, this is the base on the, the pig head in Houdini. Um, and I simply basically scatter some points inside Houdini and then export it into Blender. And I'm using um, an add-on called Spare Chalk. And in, with Spare Chalk, it's actually, it's rather quite simple to do this. Um, as long as you know what you're doing, it's actually really, really simple. Um, before, like uh, 10, 15 years ago, I would think like this is something really complex, but apparently this is actually super simple. Um, so I'll explain a little bit. Um, so Houdini, of course, is like the like the big brother of Nodes, um, kind of app that uses Nodes for everything. And Houdini can be really complicated, but Houdini also can be quite simple. Depends what you're doing. Um, here I'm actually I started with this uh, the pig head. Yeah, this is like the like a primitive in Houdini, like an example, and then I scatter it. I scatter some points um, for this uh, pig head. Uh, I believe this scatter can also be a volume. If I use a volume, uh, I can't remember. It's been a while. Uh, volume matrix plug it in here. I probably need to switch it to ISO surface or something. Well, but uh, don't worry about that for now. I think. We're just gonna keep it simple. I can scatter some points and I can... The nice thing about Houdini is that we can we can relax the points. So they're kind of like even out in space. So that's kind of cool. And the next thing I did was using this, uh, this node right here to randomize the point color. So just a very basic stuff. But basically, I want to transfer this into Blender so I can I can continue working with it and make a different things. So I simply save it out as PLY and let's pick pick a directory, save it here, colored points, accept, and that should be done. We are done with Houdini, but uh, okay, my desktop is a bit messy at the moment. Uh, on the desktop, we should find our colored points. There you go. Open with, um, we can open it with MathLab, but we don't need to do that. I'm just gonna drop it into Blender, actually. Just drop it into Blender. Um, let's start from scratch. And compositing, let's save this as file. This is a PLY reader, 001. SV PLY reader demo. Save it and let's switch this to text so we can read the text. We're just gonna drop the PLY into this guy. The nice thing about Houdini PLY export is that this format is really, really uh, human readable. You know, this is actually just a bunch of points, and then behind it is just the RGB. So, so that's uh, that's pretty easy, right? We can just read it. I can actually just delete the rest of them. We just need these values. So I can save it as new text colored points X. Save as and we are ready to convert these numbers into something useful in Blender. Okay, so let's use our text reader, text in in spread chalk add-on point into our text and we can use user define the text is being separated by a space so i just type a space here load it so now we have this value we have apparently seven different values this is actually i think there's a one there's one more like space behind it here so we can just ignore number six uh, index number six so let's just use a uh, vector in so that's definitely XYZ 
and the color should be color in so that definitely should be RGB but sometimes a good idea to check what's actually the value is oh, of course the value is here this in, in the integer and in blender um, RGB HSV whatever is the value needs to be a float value between 0 and 1 so we need to convert it just use um, subdivide okay divide by 255 five. I think it's 255 five because uh, or maybe 256 I'll just make it 255 five and then the color should go somewhere okay these points definitely need to go somewhere that's these points we can simply use it as matrix transform um, yeah and we're gonna use a B mesh viewer or let's use a preview for now so this location goes in there a matrix so definitely we are we have something there like the the pork head seems a little bit oh it's just a transform preview so we can use um, something like box for example to display it but the, uh, the box is of course gonna be a little bit heavier but that can display our pig head okay the pig head is of course because blender uh, compared to Houdini where's Houdini Houdini um, x-axis is a uh, Houdini up is actually y right so we need to we need to rotate this guy a little bit so let's use um, rotations just rotate it in the uh, in rotate it in X 90 degree oh well wait that's uh, not gonna work actually we need to deform it maybe matrix deform so float here angle 90 degrees okay I remember this is this is not how we should do it we should rotate it up here rotate Euler 90 degrees in X oh there you go that's a peak head maybe we need to put it on the floor don't worry about that um, so anyhow we anyhow we have this now how many points 1845 cool but where is the color okay where's the color how do we type in the colors so we can do this in many uh, different way oh, oops, how to get rid of this um, there, there are one way we can use instead of using box maybe we can just use like a circle circle is simple because circle is only like a one face and with that one face we can really colorize it um, colorize the vertices and for that we can actually just join all this mesh into a single mesh you know instead of uh, 1845 objects we bake no we, we're not gonna do that we're gonna mesh join it apply matrix so this is the circle and this is the transform join them and we're gonna output it uh, the render is gonna be cycles and let's use B mesh viewer this is gonna be real objects at the moment the circle is all flat but that's okay we're gonna change that real quick and we're gonna use color vertex there is a vertex color mk3 and there's vertex color new use this one vertex color new that this one is i think for blender 2.8 so color this is the circle and that's the mesh we just need the color color this way plug it in 
and we should have color but uh, we need to have material for this guy so add material by default in Sphereshop sometimes when you create material it's also plugging in the SV color that's the vertex color and we want the color to go into the face and there you go that's the color from Houdini now in Sphereshop yeah, I mean inside, inside Blender, thanks to Sphereshock add-on. Um, let's save this real quick. So we got this, and what else can we do? We can randomize the transform just to add, instead of flat looking like this, we can randomize just uh, how many circles we have, how many transform, that's the question. Let's count it, this length. And then use stethoscope. We have 1845. This one will go to random vector. There you go. And then this can go into these rotations. And then we're gonna rotate it randomly 360. Oops, oops, this is a 180. There you go. That's a random rotations for the star. Um, so next, what should we do next? If you want to make this prettier, instead of circle, we can make it, turn it into star. Um, let's just load my preset. I have a star here already. Sphereshock doesn't have star, procedural star, but we can, we can always modify the circle actually. So this is what I have. This is a modified circle. Circle, mask every even or odd number and then scale it and then you get the star. I'll show you. Um, so this is the vertices and this is the polygons. So that's the star, okay. It should go into this guy. vertices and polygons so we have our star and let's hide our preview there you go that's our star very 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 easy uh, let's increase the number 20 you can play with scaling there are many ways to create stars in Sphereshock add-on using Sphereshock add-on in Blender there you go, I think that's quite nice. There you go, there's a pig head with a scatter colored points from Houdini and we managed to convert the PLY into something that Blender can understand. Um, so yeah, I think this is quite interesting and I really like to share this. Um, Houdini of course uh, is already like a pretty solid um, app to do notes, this kind of thing. Um, Spreadshop, animation notes in Blender is uh, just a small tool, but still very, very powerful that we have it in Blender. It will grow, you know. And so, yeah, from here, you can always go back, scatter some more points. Okay, there's a limit, right? Somewhere here. Um, I want to kind of scatter it in volume. Houdini has a lot of really cool um, volumetric tools I haven't touched for a while but yeah I think can be useful just um, this is like the apprentice version I don't have the license for this version of Houdini I have version I have license for version 12.5 though back then but now it's a totally different story different Houdini different UI as well but anyhow, you can see how things can work nicely and blending between software into Blender. Um, these days, there's a lot. It, it's a lot easier to transfer data between apps, I guess. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool. So yeah, hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think. Feedbacks, any questions, and uh, I'll try to answer. I don't. Uh, don't ask me like super uh, complicated question, but uh, I'm always happy to answer 
simple basic questions so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time bye